about you guys and for those who don't know Louis D the freshwater guy lives in South Florida and as you can see I'm sitting down in my little uh, patio area and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something that I thought of you guys this morning about I flipped the camera I just learned how to do that this is a 20 gallon tank that I have outside I have seven tanks outside but I want you to notice something very clearly you see right here you see the glare you see that right there that dark green see the dark green very dark green and you see the very dark green I think it's a little bit more pronounced here you see the patches of dark green that is called algae and I get about set about two hours I would say of sunlight in here every day as the Sun sets now I was honestly thinking about getting rid of that and pulling it apart and then maybe cleaning it up and then I thought about you know what let me maybe just get new plants but I thought about you guys and I thought, what would Louis D, the freshwater guy, do? The freshwater guy would leave it alone. Why? Because these fish, which are tetras, for those who are following along, these little tetras. And I also have a, uh, a cover on top of this, but I took it off so you could see it a little bit better. Try it again. Nah, let's not try it again. Let's, let's go with the, uh, the mess up. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what you should do with fish because pe you hear people say oh my fish died or my fish died These fish have been here without exaggerating at least two years at least All of them every single fish you see in there probably longer than two years now How have they lived so long? Because they need another sounds kind of gross, but they need their fecal matter. They need to be left alone You see if I were to change and get rid of that algae that dark algae that algae right that would kill the bacteria that's growing in there and that is really really important for those who are interested in freshwater fish leave stuff alone change the water try it again change the water half every other week but leave stuff alone at least for right now again in my practice is that you see right here you see that filter see that filter you never, ever, ever, ever want to change that filter. When you change the water, you change that filter two days after you do the water change. Why? Because that is the bacteria. The key, if you learn anything from me today, is that bacteria is the key to these fish. Do not mess with the bacteria. And why don't I have gravel or the little rocks on the bottom there? Because I personally, uh, this is me, I don't like all that gravel down there because I believe that that is just kind of makes things dirtier and whatever. I feed these guys twice a week on Wednesdays and on Sundays. That's cruel again and unusual punishment. No, is it because the more they eat, the more they poop. I'm going to show you how beautiful and pristine and I actually have to clean this tank this weekend. So it's not dirt. It's not. Uh, it's actually dirty. And so remember, leave stuff alone. Anyway. Let me quickly stand up without killing myself, which is always, oh, you that saw that forehead. And I said, I'm eventually going to get a stand so we can do this properly. I have my beautiful mango tree that I cut. Well, I didn't cut. My man, Jaime, my gardener, he cut it. And it's beautiful. And this was from the seed of, uh, of a mango tree, of a mango. Uh, and uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like what it looks like. It's been there for about three years. I wanted to quickly do a little perusing of the old patio. And I got my beautiful air conditioner. And here is the view I get. Thanks be to God. Every day, the little lake that we have here filled with all kinds of bass. And I really can't see what I'm doing because there's a glare. But I hope that you guys see what, I, what I'm trying to have you see. And that is 